what is up viewers and this is Jason again I got another one quick tutorial for you this is for some cinematics and a montage this is how people get the amazing angle on cinematics you know you can always see the camera angle in a lot of montages um let me see how I can explain this the angle I mean it has an angle that you cannot make with camera mode within theater mode and you have to put a tilt on it with either After Effects or Sony Vegas which in my my place is Sony Vegas so I actually I kinda figured out how to do this on my own but you know there's probably a better way to do it and it's probably a lot better with After Effects but this is the quick and easy way that I do it let's go ahead and jump in let me show you a little preview of my last video now look at the cinematics in the background and you notice they have the sudden shake to them and it's just like rolling along makes it look a lot more epic but that's just actually a screen shake added there there's no tilt or nothing <coughs> excuse me alright let's go ahead I got Vegas open and I'm imp I got the clip right here ready to import that I'm going to show you how to do it too this is actually a clip from one of my cinematic packs if you haven't seen them already I've got about five packs out and they have gotten shit for views and nothing I actually expected a lot more views out of them but you can actually just download them in the description and they're free to use on whatever you want and as you can see this is the cinematic I'm using it's just basic there starting out alright say so you know right after you would have a clip of a guy running up like that and you know he'd be killing the guy next but you want to you know amp up this part right here and make it more epic so first thing you would do is add the shake and you don't want to go overboard and add too much shake or too much tilt but the way I do shake and this isn't the only way but uh, this is the easiest way for me is new blue motion effects earthquake um, go to the handheld one and just drag it on your clip and drop it and it will apply the effect which the effect itself is too much I like to turn it down some um, you can really just play with this and get it wherever you want but let's take a look at the clip now and I'm gonna have to shift B to that before you before you can preview it but you can already see it looks way more epic you know it intensifies the clip that should be good enough I'm gonna go ahead and play it and you notice at the first here that camera angle right here it kind of throws it off a little bit I would actually probably cut that out you want to make sure you add these effects to a smooth camera angle you know from theater mode or whatever and you know that hypes it up alright let's go ahead and delete that and I'm going to show you one more way that I like to do this this is the one that I use the most you want to go to video effects I actually can't see mine right now click it again and here's video effects you have to have Sony Vegas 10 to do this but you want to go down to stereoscopic 3d adjust and drag the default onto the clip um, open up corrections you want to click the animation tab which is right here you want to animate rotation and animate vertical offset now I'm gonna drag my clip back to the very first start to the very first keyframe for all these and I'm gonna offset my rotation slightly you don't want to go too far and I'm gonna offset my vertical and I'm gonna go to the last part of the clip and I'm gonna reset both of these to zero alright let's shift B this and take a look at what we got um, I believe after showing you guys these two effects, you'll be able to get the amazing cinematic angle that you want for your videos. And yet it's still gonna lag. But nonetheless, guys, that's how I do the tilt on the cinematic angles. You know, I just play around with these stereoscopic 3D adjustments. And I keyframe them. You know, sometimes I'll keyframe the first keyframe this way. You know, I never really go all the way to max, and sometimes I use vertical offset, and I'll change them. It's really your preference. You know, you gotta play with it. And that's it. I thank you for viewing. This has been a quick tutorial by XXJville on making cinematic angles for montages. 
Um, we are using Black Ops footage. I think you can go check out my cinematic packs um, if you haven't already and follow me on Facebook. Request more tutorials in the comments below because the only reason I made this tutorial was a guy made a comment and I decided to do it. Yeah, I'm out. Later.